Managing multiple websites, be it for clients or for yourself, comes with a lot of planning, coordination, and many other moving parts. You have to stay on top of a number of things like efficiently managing your and your team's time, making sure clients are happy, keeping tabs on your profitability, as well as analyzing data. All of these are essential to managing your SEO projects efficiently. But without the right tools and scalable processes in place, it's easy to miss deadlines, have miscommunication issues, and more in line with the topic of this video, get lost in tons of data. This is where SEO ranking all-in-one SEO platform comes into play. In this video, I want to show you exactly how you can leverage it to keep tabs on the keyword rankings of multiple websites at the same time. By the way, if you haven't tried out SEO ranking yet, be sure to grab your free trial by following the link in the description below this video. All right, to start working with the tool, you first need to add all of your websites as a project to SEO ranking. We have a detailed video on creating a new project, so be sure to check it out by following the link in the description. Now that we have created our project, we can find it on the main dashboard under the Active Websites tab. Every project of a client who left but may come back, or one of your own websites that you decided to put on hold, can be inactivated and turned back on at any time. By making a website inactive in SEO ranking, you tell the tool to stop collecting data on it and hence spending your account limits in vain. As we scroll down past the graph, we can see a list of every added standalone or ungrouped project. Then we have a list of every project group that contains websites that have something in common like the same client, responsible manager, and so on. But let's go back to the top of the page and break down everything that we can see. Website rankings are checked automatically every day, every three days, or weekly depending on the rankings check frequency you set in your subscription plan. However, the blue recheck data button here at the top of the page allows you to manually recheck rankings and search volume data either for all of your projects or for a selected batch of projects one more time on the day of the check. That way, you won't have to do this separately for each project. To the right of this button, we can see the total number of tracked keywords across all active projects. Keep an eye on this number to make sure you don't go over your limit and that you don't suddenly end up not being able to check a website's keyword rankings. Next, we have this great overview graph that gives us a closer look at the average ranking positions, traffic forecast, search visibility, traffic volume, and the percentage of keywords ranking among the top 10 search results. You are free to change the period, get data for all of your projects or for your standalone and project group separately. Plus, you can click on a project or project group here at the bottom to hide or show it in the graph. As we scroll down to ungroup projects, we can see a lot of data next to each one of them. This includes the average position of all of the project's tracked keywords, the total number of tracked keywords, the percentage of keywords ranking among the top 5, top 10, and top 30 search results, the site search visibility, organic traffic volume, traffic forecast, ranking changes, website audit score, the number of indexed pages, the date of the last rankings update, the domain trust score, as well as the total number of referring domains and backlinks. By the way, you can always decide to remove or add a column to the table by clicking on the column button. And the same goes for the project group table. If you are tracking several search engines for a single project, you can see summary data on each search engine by clicking on the website in the table. You can also drag and drop any project to change its position in the table, check mark it to be able to add it to a project group, recheck its rankings, or delete it from your account altogether. Going back to the top of the page, we have a few additional buttons here. By clicking Export, you can download project data on all or specific projects if you don't want to provide someone with direct access to the data in SEO ranking. One of the best features in terms of project management is dashboard settings. Here, you can decide if you want to see any graphs on the main dashboard, if you want to see graphs for specific projects, which graph tab should be open by default, choose to display data for the top 5, top 10, and top 30 search results in percentage, 
or even round up these values. Decide what the comparison period should be. And if you want to display data for subaccounts in the general or separate table, or even not at all. Just don't forget to click apply when you're done. When working with teammates and clients, you need to be sure that everyone has access to everything they need and that they can't see or manage the data they're not supposed to. To give different people different levels of access to SE ranking, go to users under your user profile. Here, you can see the name and email of the account owner along with information on other account types that includes a manager and a client account. Click add user to create a new account for a manager or for a client. Start by selecting one of the two account type options and filling out the personal information. And don't forget to send out a notification email so that either the responsible manager or the client can jump right into their projects. Next, select the sections of the platform that this account will be able to access. As you can see, you can define the access areas with a lot of precision. If you are creating a manager account, you will have an additional step here that allows you to define the account limits. That way, no one on your team will accidentally spend the entire monthly budget and check limits. And in the last step, you can decide which project or projects the account has access to. Simple as that. Now, working with clients requires you to build up a lot of trust to make the client feel like they made the right decision by choosing you. And what could be better than showing them all of their project data in your very own branded SEO platform? For this specific reason, we are offering the white label feature. It lets you customize the platform to your corporate identity. So you are free to customize the interface and change the page header, color scheme, footer, and the favicon. You can also personalize the domain name so that your clients won't see SEO ranking anywhere in the domain name. You can change the login page as you see fit, as well as customize the email settings so that your reports are sent out from your own, not a C rankings email account. That way, your clients will feel as if they are working with an established digital agency that knows what it's doing. I want to point out that depending on your SC ranking subscription plan, you may not have access to some of these features, including the white label and multiple user seats. Be sure to first identify your business needs and then select the pricing plan that's right for you. You want to go for the plan that can track all keyword rankings, offers enough user seats for your teammates, clients, and senior management to use, and it's up to you if you want to white label the platform and present it as your own development to clients. Besides getting an overview of the performance and average keyword rankings of multiple websites, you can get very detailed information on each project's SERP rankings. But that's a topic for a separate video that you're welcome to watch by clicking here. As for the general overview of project rankings, that is it. Thanks for watching and be sure to try SE ranking if you haven't yet. We would also appreciate it if you liked this video and subscribe to our channel. This helps us out a lot. See you next time.